you raise what you raise guys welcome back it's yet another thursday beautiful morning man the sun is blazing hot at least leo kuna kibaridi guys being a thursday guys you know what i'm talking about but before i tell you guys what i'm here to do look at this beautiful dog man black lives matter this is one of the black american dog i've ever seen very very beautiful exotic look at the kind of peace that is having oh my isn't this beautiful guys hit the comment section below let me let me tell me what you think about this amazing dog wow black life do matter and by your name it's called george Floyd. guys all right so back to my theme back to my topic today it's all about thursday and today i'm throwing it back those days we were back in high school what was your most memorable amazing moments who can go high school you remember what was your most beautiful times when any time then would have said man i recognize this shit me to me i have three incidents man the first one shh, hold on hold on hold on it's, it's very aggressive i tell you the first one was when it came to eating the meals are you so those times during, during the breakfast the lunch and the supper leave alone breakfast because it was just bullshit leave alone lunch because the day was like bullshit now the real deal was when it came to ugali and skuma Man, that shit was very sweet. You guys, you guys, these kids of nowadays are talking about pizza. To my days, man, Ugali Skuma was the real day. Man, that shit was sweet. Let me tell you, one plate was never enough. You had to do three so that you say Leo or the Papa. And during those days, we had guys we could compete with. I was, they used to call me Obi. Obi is my high school name. Go to St. Joseph's Boys, it's now a national school. But those days, it was like an extra provincial. So those days, hey, Lincoln, Lincoln, the George Floyd must be tough. So those days, guys, they tell you, man, you can't go home. So you had to do three plates. You say, at least today, man, I've had something. So we had a goon, we had a goon. Ten guys, you know, the group of the bad boys. Well, my boys, when you, hmm? Lazima tukunja jioni tuombea ni Buddha au lipiga ngapi leo. We used to call it Reba. So Reba, we had three ways so that you avoid that cook. We had this guy, a very tall, tough looking guy. Unasema tao si boboy. This guy was tough. Murevu na msuko nini na pia. Hey, hey, shh. This dog is going to give me peace to record this video. So there was those days and you and Jamal come home. This guy was so good with memory. So guys, you know, we always, we always had to improvise. Sisi ni majamu wa Yesu, and we had to improvise. Usishiko because ukishiko, it was a direct suspension. Imagine going home and telling your mama, I've been suspended because I was not going for rebels. And guys, I tell you, man, black lives matter. Look at the way this black, look at the white dog, look at the black dog, look at this kind of variety exotic dogs make a place. Yet we human beings can't even stay in peace even for a single day. This is why I love black Americans. Whites, we always there the so. So back to my story, guys. That was a commercial break. I'm back, guys. I'm back. So guys, if you remember to the place, how could you manage to go for three plates? Let me tell you the tactics. The only way to ask to an outsider, you know how to do these things. We are the legends. We are the goons. You know? You feel me? We were the legends those days. So you you dressed up, fully dressed, fully fully dressed, huh? Will you call like? You're going there like you're fully dressed, huh? Or maybe you, when I say fully dressed, it's like you are in the complete uniform of the school. Your tie is tucked tight, your neck is like you're gonna die the next minute. Your eyes is well combed, your shoes is brushed, they tell you they're shining. So you're there, you're the number one. And the rule was, make sure you're the first one to be served. Huh? You're the first one to be served. Because you are like a population of 1,800 students. So you can imagine, by the time the form ones, the form twos, the form threes are written because we're always checking, you know. The form ones will go and answer because these guys are still kids. So the form one and the form four are the people who are going to eat. So the form one and the form four are the people who are going to eat. But when you're telling me this story from a perspective, I was still a form one. So bro, like you una pick your suit, pick your pale like your your trousers is well cool, yeah? You you look amazing. Because we used to queue, since you go to pick a line, you fall in the day for pale in the so the first thing, like, make sure you are fully dressed. You go there, they give you your shit. Give you your shit. And the rule was, nigga, uskai karibu na watu wano unakula. You know what? So, to pour your food, take it, take it. You take that food, go to your dormitory. You sneak. It was against the rule. So you take that food, go to your dorm. Pijoko somebody, it was one time. 
that you guy is kuma was bora we could have better una pepeta you guy is kuma man is like hot cake Two minutes, the plate is empty. The plate is empty. Now you have to change the attire of your wife because William Sun is a new man. This guy has already eaten. Hey, easy, easy, nigga. So guys, you have to change. Like you have to change completely everything. You have to go to the court and say, "Man, is a kupiga life pale na nyashule." Mind you, this one I was dressing was in the moon of war. What you guys are about for an event? You feel me? So this one will come over like the Murunje. The Murunje are the clothes. But as lingos me beat, lingos me chapa. Yeah, the boy me raruka. Eh, una va slippers, una di pakamati like. I remember I did that shit sometime. Una di pakamati, una parang like. You're looking like an orphan, like somebody from the streets. Now you qualify to go for the second plate. Una kimbia pale mbio mbio. Mind you, madofu mwana ona kula. You're a fun one. Ume kula wakwanza. Now you go there. Unaenda pale like man imechelewa nilikuwa I was I was, was kind of washing so I'm done so at least wana kupea food food ya pili bado itoshi plate ya pili haitoshi buda you, you can't get such fake with two plates in high school now the third one was the killer one the third one sasa unaenda pale unachini unakuja na wale watu wanacheza games guys the iron is like I was so short I was so short nigga so that nani nakuja imagine I'm coming with these guys these tall guys of basketball na mimi nika fupi And I'm telling them like I'm also play basketball. I want to listen. How do you play basketball? You think that you can't even play tennis ball? Who is that playing table tennis? How how dare you play? I do play basketball. For me, I was playing basketball on a bike, so I qualified. You know, Kula Maria Tat. So that is the one thing that can make you want to go back to high school again. You keep doing as a fan in the high school. That high school food. Oh my, I miss it. I miss it. That school was boiling but to some extent. It was the sweetest. I don't know what they used to do, but you know those days that was amazing. Hmm? So the second thing, guys, the, the morning slumber, the morning sleeping, the morning sickness, you know, the morning sickness. That is why I mean, like, ilo singizi ya subu. You feel me? Do you, you get that, nigga? So ilo singizi ya subu. It was the sweetest. I've never had such an amazing slumber mine in my life after high school. My shit was sweet. Yani. That, that bail. Mind you guys, how can you wake up high school kids at 3 a.m. to go for preps? When you are, are, are starting to become Billy Gates, man. Even Billy Gates, then they come on your show. But how it will really is the reason, so I understand you guys. That is how it happened. So like they're waking us at 3 a.m. and we are from once. Seriously, why are you waking up at 4 or 3 a.m. to go and study? Study what? Introduction to biology. Fast town. Seriously. There's something like, well, there's something you call baby steps, but that is what they used to do to us. Apparently. So what you used to do, bro? Unaamuka subui, your hands are tucked tight here. You know? Umeeka like there is no rule number one. Don't let any cold get into you because you never sleep in that class. Make sure you maintain the rate at which you are releasing the the, the, the energy very very minimum. So like you wake up, your socks are there, you know. You have like four sweaters plus two windbreakers plus a hood and a jumper plus a scarf, everything. Plus a long hair and you, there, and you cool. Yeah, you, your hands are tucked inside your, your sweaters. Walk to class while eyes are closed, man. It's a TBT. It's a throwback Thursday. I'm like remembering this shit like it was yesterday. So like you're just there walking sleeplessless, eyes closed because you already had the, the map in our minds. You're just walking. You know what you do? Take a book. Take a book and call your pilot your locker. Then... Do like you're opening your locker, you know. Put your head inside because the rule was the books are supposed to be down, down at the locker, not upward. Book, book we catch in your locker, finally, because the locker has to leave some space for your head so that you can give in Danny. You there, you like capsized inside. That is technique, niggas. You're gonna pay me for this. This, 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 this is certified. So like when you're capable, you you just there. Kengele was the climax. That was breakfast. You won't play with food, niggas. What is it on a food? You go, man. The rate at which you shoot from that locker. You guys are saying that nuclear bomb. But then we used to run, man. We used to at you send balls, man. Nothing. So the last thing, the last thing, guys, I'm gonna tell you, the most amazing part in my high school life was when you used to go for funkies. Now funky was a game changer. 
Funky was a game changer, man. Make sure you are any activity. You are in any activity back in high school. Because, man, you'll just be looking at the walls of the school for your next four years. So it's either you're there, it's either you're playing anything. Just play anything. No? Food, you play with food, I don't know. Anything. You and you run with your sack and say, anything. Because, man, life outside there was amazing. Interacting with new students, you know, you're a guy and you're just there. It was a killer. It was a killer. TBT, it's a TBT family. Man, I shout out to all my guys, all my high school students, all my friends who will be watching this video. Just shout out to you niggas. Comment on the section, comment below, and we'll be coming back again. We'll be coming back with amazing stories. But this was just a TBT. This is just an introduction. This is episode one. Episode two is going to be amazing. But today it's all about TBT, guys. All I'm going to appeal you before I cut off this video, before my producers cut me off. Guys, maintain the social distance. Because coronavirus is real. Corona is real for real, guys. It's so deadly, this shit. So don't see like everything now, but people are not talking about it and say everything is okay. So guys, remember to always sanitize. Sanitize your hands. Your mask should be in your face the whole time you're outside. You know? Social distance. You have to use your sanitizer, guys. And, you know, let, let's do this. And before you go, guys, you know, this comment section. Comment there. Like this video. And most importantly, I'm just begging you guys. I'm begging you. Subscribe. Hit this subscribe button. It's free, guys. It's for free. No payment. You all have to pay a cobalt. You want them to pay a shilling too. Just subscribe. Press on the button and episode two. Episode two is gonna be something else, nigga. I've got some good stories for you. Guys, just subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'm done.